Everyone for listening. Today we're going to preview Harvey Elliott's injury for Liverpool FC. Injured in his match against Leeds. Uh, suffered a, an ankle dislocation and fracture. So we're going to explain this injury play by play and look at when he might return to play. So frame first frame here, he's um, going off to the right there. The defender's going to come across with his right leg and take out um, Harvey's left leg. Right, so Harvey's momentum is going to the left. His left leg at the moment is up in the air. It's not planted. And he's uh, going to shoot off to the right there. Next frame, the defender's brought his, his uh, leg out in front uh, of Harvey. And Harvey's left leg there, the blurry area there, is coming across there. And he's about to take it out from uh, underneath him. Then you know, the next frame, at this point, the defender's actually taken out his left leg. And unfortunately, Harvey's momentum is going off to the right there. But the, the uh, left leg is planted. Uh, in the grass and it's stuck against the defender's left leg and it's going to be externally rotated so in the arrow just off to the left there and then what that means is his leg would have originally been planted forward starting that way and has been turned out in the direction of that orange arrow there really turned outwards creating a large amount of force to that ankle and that's what's dislocated his ankle so in the last frame here you see there's been really stuck planted in the turf turned out turned off in that externally rotated position like in the arrow there and uh, unfortunately that's broken and just cut his ankle and this is straight after the injury you can see his right leg there is pointing straight up in the air as it should be his left foot there is almost horizontal and that's because it's what's called externally rotated meaning it's pushed out to the left the little toe side of the ankle so rolled out in this direction on the arrow just there and uh, and that would have been a pretty horrible sight for him to see this is a close-up so the right leg straight up in the air foot up straight up in the air left leg almost lo looks like it's been pointing around 180 What's happened is it's been turned off to the left there in the direction of the arrow. Uh, and just to draw it again, it should be pointing straight up in the air as in the orange arrow. Um, but unfortunately, it's been brought off to the left there all the way around um, in red in that arrow, ended that way. And what it's done has been turned clockwise almost, you know, the 180 degrees. Um, and fortunately for him, that the guys on the field turned that back around. Now here he is uh, recovering with his plaster. So what was the actual injury he suffered? Well, um, to go through that, there was, a, there was a statement released by Liverpool FC saying he had a fractured dislocation of the left ankle. It was reduced on the pitch, which was great, which would have saved some of his soft tissues. And they said they repaired a fracture and ligaments. So they only talked about fracture, not fractures. So the most likely scenario we can explain this, we'll just go through an ankle drawing so you have a better idea what the, his ankle actually looked like. So this bone here is the tibia bone or the shin bone. Next to it is a bone called the fibula, which is on the little toe side of your ankle. Underneath that is the uh, the heel bone, otherwise known as the calcaneus. And in between the two is something called the talus, and that makes up your ankle. Now there's some ligaments called the syndesmosis, which is in red there, which is really important. And then the next and then the next set of ligaments on the big toe side of your ankle. Oh, sorry, I should say little toe side of your ankle. The green ones called the lateral ankle ligaments. And then the blue ones, the deltoid, which is uh, on the big toe side of your ankle in blue there. So there are two... Uh, possible injuries is likely based on what the report was. So it, there's a fibula, one with a fibula fracture and injury, what's called the deltoid ligament, and that would be unlikely or, or definitely possible, but it's unlikely that with surgery they repair the deltoid ligament. That's fairly controversial, although it could have happened. The other possibility is it's had a fibula fracture um, and also injury of the syndesmosis, which is the most likely scenario. So the fibula fracture is just there, and then the uh, syndesmosis is in uh, red just there. And what happens is the fibula moves away from the tibia, and there's a gap then formed by the uh, purple, indicated by the purple arrow there. And what would have happened if he had that injury is he would have had a plate to the fibula, which we're just going to mark out there. Um, and he would have had then what's got a tightrope placed across the syndesmosis, which has got two ends there. So it's drilled across the tibia and the fibula, and, it's, and then there's a synthetic stitch there between the red line. Um, now, the next question asked then is, is well, what's his post-up rehab going to be? And um, with ankle fractures, um, varies a little bit surgeon to surgeon, but for the most part, what the most likely thing is going to happen is, you know, plaster for two weeks, then something called a moon boot for about four weeks where he's not putting weight, then a moon boot for two weeks where he's putting full weight, and then he's going to work really hard on strength and stability once he starts walking again. Um, in terms of return to play, well, there's actually a small chance he won't make it back. I hope that's not the case, but this study here looking at um, recreational professional athletes and the factors of why they might return says a dislocation is actually a risk factor for not returning to play. It occurs in about 37.5% of players in the study, which is pretty high, almost a, more than a third. Um, this study in the UK and rugby and soccer players says the average time to return to sport with this type of injury is about 35 weeks. So he's out for most of the year, that's for sure. Um, and then looking at our NFL uh, players, um, with injuries to the ankle, the average time to return to sport after surgery is about 123.8 days. So he's out for a significant period of time. I hope you liked that video. Please um, take a look at our other sports injury analyses um, or subscribe to the Foot and Ankle Surgeon. Thank you very much for listening to my video and leave any comments. Thanks.